received a request from Will Jan 5560 if I could show an example of removing not the background but the foreground in a more complex situation. I wanted to use an everyday image rather than a stock photo so my brother asked me if I could remove this barbecue that's on his deck. As you can see in the photo on the right, Photo Director did a pretty good job at removing it. And here's another one. Somebody's feet photobombed this shot. My brother took a photo of his charcuterie board. And Photo Director did a great job on this one as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate the background. I right click and press duplicate and then turn off my background layer. And then I'm going to zoom in a bit and I'll choose my selection tool, my selection brush, and then I'm just going to paint over the area to make my selection over the barbecue. And then I'll hit the minus button and then go to the manual brush selection to push back any areas that I over selected. So I'm just going to fast forward this process so that you don't get too bored. Now that my selection is done, I'm going to add a mask and I'm going to make a duplicate of the background. So right click and choose duplicate. Turn the duplicate layer on so that it's visible and then click onto the mask and right click and choose Invert Layer Mask. Now with the background copy active, I'm going to choose the Pick and Move tool. I'm going to make sure the Auto Select is not checked. And then I'm just going to click on the canvas and I'm just going to drag it down to fill in that space that has the mask over it. You'll have to play around with it a bit just to get it to line up properly. And it won't be perfect, but we'll take care of that in the next step. I'll need to merge these two layers for the next step. So before I do that, I'm just going to make a copy of both layers, just in case something goes wrong. And then I'll merge those two. So highlight them both, click on the top, and hold shift on, and click on the next one, and then right click and merge those. Now I'm clicking onto the Guided Tools icon and I'm going to use click onto Smart Patch and I'm just going to zoom in a bit here so we can see what's going on better. I want to blend these so I'm going to just start painting, just creating a selection, and then clicking Next, and then moving that to another area that, that fits it. And just move it around until you find something that fits that. And then click Apply. And then just keep doing this process over and over. It's best to do it in small increments rather than trying to grab one big section. I've tried that and it just doesn't work. So just take your time with it. I'll speed the process up here. This area here is really tricky, so I'm just going to zoom in and really just take my time with it. But again, I'll speed it up. I'm happy with the results, so I'll click OK. And here's the final result. And I'll do a quick before and after so you can see the difference. Here's the before and the after, before and after. I'll do this next photo of the feet that need to be removed. So 
So I've duplicated the background and now I'm making my selection of the feet. Then I'll add a layer mask and I'll right click on the mask and invert it. And then I'll right click on the background to make a duplicate and I'll turn that duplicate layer on. I'll click Command D to cancel my selection and I'll choose the pick and move tool grab onto my canvas and just move it upwards to fill in that area that has been masked. Now I'm going to merge the two layers by right clicking and choosing merge. I'll select the guided tools icon and the smart patch and then I'm just going to do my, I'll zoom in a bit here and I'll do my selection and I'm just going to speed up this process. I'll click OK. And I'll just show you the before and after. Before and after. Before and after. For those of you who have taken the time to leave a pleasant comment, I thank you for that. And thanks so much for watching. Please let me know if there's a video that you'd like me to make for you and I'll do my best to make it.